Well, I think there's no doubt that boards improve in every way. Dynamics, atmospherics, you get a more balanced conversation and ultimately I think you get a better type of decision making. So it's really what's good for British business rather than simply a question of women on boards. I think it's important we keep measuring the progress that is being made on women joining boards and there's no doubt that the huge momentum that was created following the Davis report has in the last six months showed some signs of slowing. I think what we've got to take from that is not that there's a fundamental change but a recognition that unless we keep this right on the top of people's agenda it could back off and that would not be good for British business. I think the government have made a huge contribution. I think um, the Davis report triggered it. I think we've had very strong support from the Department of Business, uh, particularly with Dr Cable. We've seen the Prime Minister engaged. And we've seen Theresa May and Maria Miller following on from that. So when we look at the cast from the political area that have given the support, we can only say we've had the main players giving a strong lead. They need to keep giving it, but the evidence is they are committed to this, they believe it's right for business and right for the British mix on boards as a critical part of their own agenda. I think there's no doubt that the fact that business recognise that this has to be achieved by a voluntary process demonstrates that they do recognise it's good for business, not simply a box-ticking exercise. The perspective generally, I think, is if a quota is inserted, then we will see numbers achieved, but we won't see cultures changed. And this is about a cultural change by will rather than a numbers change by legislation.